Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial, we'll be making a really fun giant bauble cake. This is a buttercream finished cake, so not fondant, really, really easy. I actually can't believe how easy this was to make. You're gonna need two half sphere cakes. I've kind of leveled off one a little bit at the top and then cut it in half. The other one I've just cut in half and left the rounded section attached. With the leveled section, we're going to plant it against the cake board on some frosting. And the reason we leveled it is that it can sit flat on the cake board and it won't roll off halfway through. You want to stack your cakes together with a little bit of buttercream. Don't make the buttercream layers too thick, otherwise you lose your round shape and end up with something looking kind of oval instead. Make sure you press down firmly to attach all those together and then create a crumb coat. This is a thin layer of frosting traveling all around the cake and it's going to trap in the crumbs for us. I've colored my buttercream with red gel food color and I'll have the recipe for the buttercream listed in the description box below. I've taken an acetate sheet and I've just smoothed it out, dragging it from the bottom to the top and then holding it steady while I turn my turntable. Pop it into the fridge to set for about 20 minutes and then apply a second layer of frosting. I've laid mine on nice and thick and then I've started to smooth it out with my little spatula first and then I went in again with my acetate sheet again starting from the base moving my way up and then to smooth it out from the side I decided to just kind of bend it uh, as much as I can so as much of the acetate is touching the cake at once holding it steady while I turn my turntable. Clean up the excess into the freezer she goes this time for about 15 minutes. And in the meantime, you can prepare your fondant. This is gold colored fondant and I've rolled it out about three millimeters in thickness. Even thicker would be nice. Cut a little circle and then take some more of that fondant and roll out logs. This tiny log will be the hook that goes on that little circle piece. And then you'll need two more skinny logs. You want to cut this in half or just sort of fold it on one end and then give it a good twist. This is going to create a rope kind of effect for us. Once you have that rope nice and tight, roll it between your fingers just a little bit to flatten it out. Cut it down to size and then glue it between the hooks so that you can hide the seam. Take your edible glitter. This is edible glitter by Rolkem. Uh, turns out they actually make a lot of edible glitters and luster dusts, which is awesome. There's also the non-toxic variety, but you kind of want to aim for the 100% edible type. Use a very large blush brush to just sort of pounce that all over the cake. And because it sat in our freezer, it's nice and firm and we're not messing up our buttercream frosting by doing this. Once you're happy with the coverage, you can clean up your cake board and then stick your fondant decoration onto the top of the cake with some water. This is edible gold dust mixed with vodka to create a um, gold paint. If you can't use vodka though you can use lemon juice or white vinegar. Something acidic that can evaporate quickly. If you're enjoying these tutorials feel free to subscribe we do upload a new video every week. As a finishing touch, and you can completely skip this if you like, I've taken some battery powered lights that I bought from Big W for literally $5, they were so cheap, and wrapping it around the base of the cake. You can hide it at the back, and then add decorations around it so you can really hide it. I just went on with two poinsettia flowers on either side. And that's how you make a giant bauble cake. I promise you it's a lot easier than it looks and the trick is that kind of that chill section where you pop the cake in the fridge and you pop it into the freezer before the um, glitter goes on really really helps. If you recreate this I would love to see your image hashtag Rosie's Dessert Spot so I can check it out. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.